Welcome to the second episode of my new weekly video cast, Soul Food. Last week we began talking about the importance of self-care. Self-care isn't selfish. In fact, the best gift you can give the people around you is you becoming a healthier person in every area of your life. One of the most important habits of self-care is learning to pause, to stop, to reflect. In his best-selling book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, author Stephen Covey tells a humorous story illustrating the difference between leadership and management. There's this group of people needing to travel through a jungle and the managers are there helping everyone cut a pathway through the thick undergrowth. They're ensuring that the machetes are sharp, there are rosters rotating the people into work shifts, there's ample refreshments for the workers and first aid if necessary. They're making really good progress and the managers are happy. The leader is the person who climbs the tree, looks around and goes, whoops, <laughs> wrong jungle. But the managers are happy because they're making such progress. What's the point? You know, sometimes your life and my life can be a bit like a jungle. There's so much to do. We can easily get caught up in all the endless activity of our lives. Every now and then we need to climb a tree and check whether we're headed in the right direction. It's so easy to live our lives dominated by the clock, always going faster and faster, and trying to fit more activity into our allotted time every day. But if we never look at the compass, we will neglect giving attention to the overall direction of our life. After all, going fast in the wrong direction is not success. Personally, I don't find reflection easy because I'm such an activistic person. I can be on the go from morning to night, but I've learned the benefit of pressing pause on all my hyperactivity. You know, I love to sit in one of my favorite chairs around the house like this one and simply be still and, and reflect even only for a few minutes makes such a difference in my life. You know, if you have a bucket of muddy water, you can keep stirring and splashing it round and round and nothing much will change. But if you simply be still and wait, over time the debris falls down to the bottom and clarity comes. You start to see things you couldn't see before. And so what about you? Do you ever stop? Are you ever still? Why not take some time today to be quiet, to be still, to reflect? I think you'll find it really nourishing for your soul. Maybe morning is best for you, taking some time to reflect about the day ahead and what you hope it will be like before it gets started. Or maybe evening could be more suitable for you, finishing the day by asking yourself some important questions like, what went well today? What didn't go so well? What did I learn? How could tomorrow be different? You know, despite popular opinion, experience isn't life's greatest teacher. It's only experience that we reflect on that has the potential to become insight into our lives. You know, we don't want to simply pile up a heap of experiences over and over and never learn from them. Reflection helps turn our experience into insight for living. So recapping our main points from today's episode, first of all, why not set aside some time today to be still and to reflect. Secondly, keep an eye on the compass, not just the clock. Life's not just about speed, it's about direction. Thirdly, learn the power of questions. And fourthly, use reflection to turn experience into insight. Once again, I'd love to hear some comments back from you and why not talk about the practice of reflection with your family and friends today. This has been Soul Food with Mark Connor. See you next week when we talk about the benefits of mindfulness. See you then.